Welcome! In this video you will learn what the solo taxonomy is and how you can apply it in computing education. SOLO stands for Structure of Observed Learning Outcomes. It describes five levels from no understanding to the ability to transfer knowledge. The SOLO taxonomy was introduced by Biggs and Collis in 1982 to provide a framework for more consistent and qualitative evaluation of students' responses to open-ended questions. The five levels build on each other logically. First, pre-structural, there's little to no understanding of the topic. Unistructural, one relevant aspect is identified. Multistructural, understanding of several aspects of the task, but each aspect is represented independently. Relational, understanding of several aspects of the task and how they are related. And the highest level is extended abstract, understanding of the aspects can be generalized beyond the context of the question. One important point, SOLO does not assess cognitive or effective processes, but focuses only on the organizational complexity of tasks, regardless of whether the answer is factually correct. There's one quote from Bix. SOLO is a means of classifying learning outcomes in terms of their complexity, enabling us to assess students' work in terms of its quality, not of how many bits they have got right. The SOLO taxonomy is not just about levels of understanding, it also includes three core evaluation dimensions. At first, capacity. This refers to how many elements a learner can process at once. The higher the SOLO level, the more information is meaningfully integrated in working memory. Second, relating operations. This is about how meaningfully the identified elements are linked, especially in relation to the question. And third, consistency and closure. Is the response logically concluded? Is the argument coherent? This dimension considers the consistency between the information provided and the conclusion the student draws. The table shows how each of these traits is expressed across solo levels, from minimal to maximal. At the pre-structural level, capacity is low. Students merely repeat the question or they express confusion. There is no meaningful connection between elements and the response is inconsistent and incomplete. Unistructural means learners recognize one relevant aspect, the answer is correct in itself, but isolated, lacking connection and deeper reasoning. At the multistructural level, learners process several elements, but don't connect them. Responses may be correct, but read like a list, lacking coherence. Relational means learners link multiple aspects into a coherent structure, the argument is consistent, complete and contextually appropriate. Patterns are recognized. Extended abstract is the highest solo level. The response goes beyond the immediate context by generalizing principles and applying them to new situations. Capacity, integration and coherence are fully realized here. How can we apply SOLO in computing education? The taxonomy can be used to assess a variety of student outputs, from code reading to scratch projects. Studies by Lister et al. and Funke et al. show typical characteristics of each level. First, pre-structural. There are major misconceptions, for example, confusing index with value in arrays. And regarding scratch, the scratch script contains only a few blocks. The student does not understand how to extend the script to a meaningful program. Unistructural, one simple aspect is identified, possibly an educated guess. Regarding scratch, the script contains sequences of actions in a simple way, but control structures are not contained or they are unrelated. At multistructural level, Multiple aspects are identified but not linked. Regarding code reading, program steps are followed correctly without understanding the purpose of the whole program. 
Listed L, call it the student fails to see the forest for the trees. Regarding Scratch, the script fulfills all given requirements and includes a variety of different block types. The code may have been reorganized to make a more integrated solution. Relational, the code's purpose or the game's logic is understood. Elements are well integrated. Regarding Scratch, the script provides a well-structured program that removes all redundancy and has a clear logical structure. At the highest level, extended abstract, learners reflect beyond the task, recognizing limitations, for example, the algorithm only works on sorted arrays, and regarding Scratch, the Scratch script uses concepts and blocks beyond those required in the exercise to provide an improved solution. Again, it is important to remember, an answer at the relational level can contain errors, what matters is the structure of the reasoning. Funke, Geldreich and Hubwieser analyzed 127 Scratch projects using Solo. They found that story-based programs mostly ranked pre-structural or unistructural. Most animations also stayed in those levels, though some reached multi-structural and relational. Games were mostly classified as multi-structural or relational, with a few even at extended abstract. They suggest a developmental path from story to animation to game. Finally, here's a small example from database teaching given by Fuller et al. illustrating how Solo can guide diagnostic assessment design. Task, the insert statement provides an optional clause to list the columns that you're inserting values into. Why is it prudent to list the columns when you're developing code for a production system? According to Fuller et al., this question seeks a unistructural response because it deals with a single construct. Such tasks can be purposefully designed to elicit responses at different solo levels.